can't get it back. Every time I pull up, they're like, who is that? I slide with the black when I'm busting the trap. We found a treasure, put gang on the map. He give you my number, I'll give you my snap. You beef with my brother, I can't give you that. Running this race is my third overlap. Why are these niggas only tough for the strap? I ain't got about weed, cause a hair like a puzzle. I ball like LeBron, and you ball like Lazo. Smoke straight paper, I ain't tryna smoke Fanto. Turn just sends me, I ain't tryna convo. I spoke the Glock, make me feel like Rondo. Dick in the mouth, think I'm touching the tonsils. Bro, got the drum like bongos. Tryna build an empire just like the Mongols. With life in heart, someone told me to pray. And give you a girl, I want you to stay. Every time we go out, you know I'm a pain. Only fall out one time and she can't stay away. Think about the day I buried my brother, that shit in my mind is stuck on replay. They asked me, why did I do it? I sat back and relaxed and had nothing to say. Take sound for bro. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is John Eads, and if you're new here, I run the Oregon State Dynasty on here. And I'm taking a little bit of a break today from gameplay, recruiting, any of that stuff that you usually see on my channel. If you're interested, be sure to go check everything out. Hit the sub button, hit the like button on this video. Got a whole playlist, 124 episodes I think we're up to now on there. Five, six seasons of gameplay. And we got some huge updates coming to this channel in the next couple days, actually. So you're coming here at a great time. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is just going to be my playbook i got a, i got a comment from somebody on my last episode what playbook do you use and you know what i've kind of wanted to do a video on this anyway so i'm going to go ahead and do it i'm going to show you guys the playbook i use and give you even some of the best plays that are in that playbook that i've been running for four to five years and have helped us uh lead the nation in offense year after year after year and help us win four straight national championships so without further ado let's take a look all right, so we use all 378 plays. We use 23 formations. It's a pro-style offense, but I only use the pistol, the shotgun, and the wildcat in here. Um, I don't really like... I don't mess around with the I-form or the ace. Any Anything under center, it's just outdated, and I don't really like it. It's hard to... Uh, I'm not, you know, I didn't play running back in high school. I played wide receiver, so I don't really know exactly where a hole's going to be right when I get the football. It's easier just to make reads. It's easier to pass the ball, get protection with the offensive line. It's easier to find gaps when you're running the ball in the shotgun. So I do everything with, uh, you know, a couple, not under center, but in the gun, you know, away from the center. So I have a couple seconds to react and let the play develop. So we got the pistol, we got the shotgun. Um, I guess we'll start with the pistol here. So I have the ace for the pistol and the shotgun here. You know, it's just, I have some great tight ends on my team. So uh, we also run the ball pretty well. So we're able to kind of utilize this formation. I don't use it that often, but you guys could see, you, know, you got some setup plays here. You got the sweep and then the sweep play action pass. You got some good run plays, some good option sets here. You got some more play action passes. It's a nice, it's a nice one to have in your playbook. If you, if you like to use the tight ends, if you don't, this one's probably not for you, but it's it's nice to have in there for sure, I would say. Moving down the list, we got slot here. One of my favorite plays is in this formation set. It's this bubble screen play here. It's such an easy read, especially when you're on the short side of the field and the so the guy running the uh, bubble is going up the sideline there. Easy read. If you're in the middle of the field, it works too because you got the slant and the flat on the other side of it. And Again, you got more run plays as you can see right there. Some similar ones that you'll see in the ace. only difference between this one and the ace is... Instead of having that extra tight end on the left side, you put him in the slot. So you got another receiver there, and it gives you more options with the pass. All right, moving along, we got the spread here. So this is where you'll start to see more of those formations with more wide receivers. So these are uh, with four wide outs here, so it's a pass-heavy look. But we also got some play action work in there, as you can see right there. I like this play, this play action boot, because it's an automatic rollout for your quarterback. And this zig route down here against man-to-man -man is pretty lethal if you have the right personnel for it. Moving along, though, more pass plays, more option plays. This slant bubble concept is a very good one for you guys to put into your playbooks here. It's exactly what it says it is. It's a slant and it's a bubble. Man-to-man -man eater, zone eater, really, it'll beat everything right there. You also got more plays that'll uh, attack the sidelines and will just absolutely feast on man-to-man -man coverage if, uh, you know, the computer that's playing in the man-to-man -man is terrible. So you got this hook play, with, which is a flag route to the sideline. You got the fade smash, which is a fade up the sideline that beats pretty much every coverage right there. You got the out route in this deep attack play, as well as the post over the middle. And then you got more uh, routes attacking the sideline here with the Z underplay. Next up, we got strong slot here. This this is a very, very versatile set because you can motion guys in and out wherever you want to and just get creative with it. So you got this halfback zone play, which is nice because you got the lead blocker, as you can see there. But it's also like a delayed handoff. It's, it's, it's like a draw, except it doesn't mess you up like with the camera and everything. So I definitely say you should throw that one in there because it gives you an extra second or two to let the run develop and to just go. Find that gap and go hit the sideline. This double screen play is really nice too. 
Uh, it only doesn't work when they when teams blitz and the pressure gets in there and you can't really get the pass off. But even then, it, it'll still work. Had some really big hitters with that double screen play. Uh, you got your generic play action pass here. I don't really run these ones that much, especially that slants play. I don't really like slants straight up, but um, a lot of play action there. This Z slant Y corner is a great one for you know beating zones, mans. You got those check downs there on both sides. You got the power O triple option plays here. Some pretty crafty ones, and you got another halfback dive with a lead blocker going up the middle, and then you got a screen pass. Uh, no, <laughs> you got a screen pass as well. So it's a versatile uh, personnel set, and I like it. All right, we got two more here in the pistol. Trips four wide. This one's pretty generic. You guys should all have this in your basic uh, playbooks here. But I found a couple plays that I really like, especially this middle slant play. Such a nice read, especially on third and long. I've beaten so many third and ten situations with this play. You should add that one into your set for sure. You also got a couple, uh, you know, corner concepts here or curl concepts, rather. Uh, you know, straight up curls, curl flat. Uh, more run plays down here, and uh, yeah, it's pretty basic stuff. This levels play is really good for third and medium situations if you haven't run it before. Uh, third and six, third and seven. If they go off coverage against this, it'll hit every time. I'm telling you. Last but not least for the pistol, it's you got to have some wing concepts in your shotgun and your pistol for sure. These will absolutely feast between the run and the pass. Just really good, especially in short yardage and goal line situations. I love to run these here. So you got the double screen. Again, you got a curls play. I just added a couple of these plays. Uh, you got a counter, F lead, read option with a lead blocker. That one is absolutely freaking lethal, guys. I'm telling you. Inside split zone, great run play right there. Vertical tight end cross, another great one, especially against man to man. Love to run that. Uh, this motion wide receiver option play is very good. Very scored a lot of touchdowns with that play. Strong floods a good one. And again, you got the halfback dive with the lead block up the middle. You follow that lead blocker, you're gone, man. Great play. So you got the power O as well, uh, which is great for running up the sideline and uh, slip screen. Let's transition into the shotgun here. So I got five wide. You guys should have this in your playbook as well for third and like 12, 13 situations or really just whenever you want because uh, five wide receivers on the field at once can be very dangerous uh, for a defense if they can't defend it. So uh, a lot of pass plays. I got a QB draw, QB blast play with that, which I actually just added. I, I still have to run that. I haven't run it yet. We'll get to it next game, hopefully. Uh, smash fade, again, a great play. You got a jet sweep there with the wide receiver if you're feeling nice. So good options in that one there. Shotgun Ace. This is probably one of my favorite formations in the game and in the playbook. And not because of any of these plays. It's because of the ones that are way down at the bottom here. QB Power, QB Blast. I could probably beat a team just running these two plays the entire game. If you have the right quarterback, an athletic quarterback that can run and, and be dangerous with his feet, you will absolutely burn teams and burn defenses with these two plays. So definitely throw those two in there. Uh, you also got this flanker curl play, which I kind of like as well. It's a nice concept on the right side. You got an Anna curl, and then just a flat route from the running back. Motion wide out options, a great play. Um, some more run plays, sweep and quick base. Quick base is a nice run play, I like that one. You got counter, and I spot it. Moving along, this is probably my favorite personnel set in the entire game, aside from the, the ace, which I just said. But this, this is absolutely lethal what's in here. You got this clear out. Uh, in play, which has two vertical routes and against the cover two or really any zone defense, uh, the one that's trailing behind is going to be open every time. That's a great play. I haven't really gotten around to running all of these yet because every time I use this personnel set, I'm usually running this play here. Burt's halfback under. This play is unstoppable. I've scored so many touchdowns running this. This play, it, it, you cannot stop this play in the game. You just cannot uh, because... Even if it's man to man, which we've had to experience a couple times as well, you hit the running back underneath against the slow linebacker, or you just put your uh, you put your isolated receiver on a slant or just a route that would beat man to man. And if it's man to man, you don't you just don't even worry about these double wheel routes in the side; they're not going to be open. But against any kind of a zone, always open. And I've only seen man to man run against this once or twice ever, and I run this every single time I play this game. So, but some great plays in here. You also got a screen. I've scored off of that as well. That's one of my audibles, actually. Um, you get this flood play, which is nice. Works the sideline well. Um, but yeah, I mean, whenever I'm running stuff out of that set, it's usually that double wheel route play. So use that one. Moving on, though, we have F Twins over. This is basically an extension of the Wildcat, but it allows you to keep your quarterback in the game. And it's got some nice plays as well. You got this uh, jet play action swing pass that'll give it to the guy that comes in motion on the jet. 
of course you have a jet sweep then you have a jet cross screen as well so you can really set yourself up for success if you just set up a play and hit it for a big gainer later on you also got some more option plays and run plays so i'd throw this one in there if you guys like the option and uh like to get crafty and creative Moving on, we got Shotgun Normal. This one's pretty generic, pretty basic, but you got to have it in there. Some nice pass plays in here, angle smash. I know as a beginner, I always love to hit the running back out of the backfield there. It's pretty easy, uh, even if he wasn't open. But you also got that QB power play again, which I didn't even know that was in there. I, I thought it was only a wide trip, so I'm going to have to break that out and use that next game for sure. You also got Shark Wheel. If you watched Coach Doug's, you know exactly what that is. Uh, this halfback clear out angle play is very good. And uh, yeah, just th this is a generic formation that you have to have in your playbook because it's got some great options in there. Inside zone handoff, you guys know the deal. Great play right there. Um, that's a good look at that one. So other than that, I got spread halfback week, which is basically just, it's exactly what you saw in the pistol with the spread. It's just four wideouts out there. Uh, I got these pair, I got a pair of these two back sets in the backfield. Um, I'll go over those as well. But let me start with this wing formation as well. Like I said, you got to have the wing formations in your playbook, both pistol and shotgun. Got some nice plays in here. You got this read option with the lead blocker. You got the halfback dive with the lead blocker. This uh, read option here, this one right, this, unstoppable. Cannot be stopped. I don't care who uh, who's playing defense against you or what they're running. You cannot stop that play. But I've added some more pass plays in here recently that I still have to try out. But you got to have this one in your playbook for sure. All right, here are the two back sets. I'm only going to show you this one because they're both pretty si pretty much the same, uh, same kind of concepts and stuff. This one, I, I like the offset one, though, because it's got some more options. This corner threat plays very nice. I have this really athletic tight end that hits that out route to the sideline super well and burns pretty much everybody he faces, especially if it's man-to-man. -man. It's, it's nice to have. Uh, some of my favorite plays, though, are this motion uh, fullback belly play where you hand it off inside, but you have that motion over the top as if you're throwing a, a swing pass. And speaking of that, we have the actual swing pass in here as well. So we could set up both of those plays if we wanted to every single game. We've also got some more option plays in there, of course. Uh, got a play action pass there, which is a good one. Fullback angle play, which is nice. A lot more run plays with a lead blocker there. You see fullback inside. Just a versatile set. Uh, like I said, you got to have... Uh, some of these in there. you got to have a two-back set for sure, I would say. It's got so many options, you really can keep the defense guessing between the run and the pass and the play action. Yeah, so the rest of these are pretty generic. you got your, uh, you know, four wideout sets, trips here, wide trips, pretty basic, pretty generic. This is another wing uh, personnel set, so you're going to have more options and pass plays and lead block plays. you got to have the wing sets in there, guys, I'm telling you, especially that one. I do like this one. I'm going to end off, though, with one of my favorite and one of the most underrated personnel sets in this game is the tight slots man this, this stuff is lethal you got to have some run plays in there too i didn't have any run plays until i went back and edited this before i started my latest season on the oregon state dynasty we put a sweet play in there but these pass plays are very good and you just love to work the sideline but you, the defense really doesn't know where you're going to go but i got three or four of these that i just i run continuously every single game um, they're all really similar in what they're designed to do, but here's this mesh play, which I really like. This will be every coverage. Man-to-man, -man, you'll have that out route zones. You'll have the drag routes open underneath, or you can just check it down to the running back. Um, you got the two drags, the out, the, uh, it's just so good. Cover two, cover three, man-to-man, -man, it'll be all of those, I'm telling you guys. Third and five, third and six, that's the play you want to run for sure. All of these are really similar in what they do, though. I love to hit the sideline. And especially with the right, I'm going to be looking this way, right to the right side. So wide receiver corners, you hit the guy that's hitting the sideline. Either way, if it's man to man, you just try and find that mismatch. But wide uh, X in, excuse me, and wide receiver corners, these are all really similar, right? These are all pretty much have the same route combinations uh, from from a couple similar receivers. But you know they offer you different ways to get it done. So you see bench and bench switch. Different guys are running that out route, so the defense doesn't really know where it's coming from they know it's coming but they don't know where it's coming from so even if they sit back in a zone you got the underneath routes and you got the routes over the middle so it's just a great personnel set and uh, i'll finish off with the wildcat here these are just great great plays to have in your playbook especially inside the five uh makes it so much easier on yourself instead of you know lining up and running the same options and run plays over and over again you can just bring in your, your, your big fullback your big running back or even just leave your quarterback in and go with the Wildcat here. So you got your sweeps, you got your powers. I usually run power, run to the right, or blast right there. 
Uh, just I don't, I don't really like to go with the motion stuff because that takes away one blocker you could potentially have in your play. So usually if I'm inside the three or the four, uh, my go-to is to go with these two runs right here and it's out of this set. But you also got these other ones in here that have some pass plays and stuff if you want to get fancy. You're up by 50 points, you're just screwing around or whatever. Uh, you got a play action pass out of that one. Other than that though, it's pretty similar sweeps and motions and stuff. And then this one here, this one's kind of fun. It's got two running backs in it and you got your read. It's basically just like you have your quarterback in there, but it's your two running backs. So you want to put someone in here that could throw the ball, but is also fast enough to be a running back, right? Because you have this play action pass right here. And, um, you know, you want them to be fast like a running back too. So you got, you know, read option, blast, counter, uh, wrap, which is basically just the read option and sweep. So yeah, it, it's fun, man. The whole thing with this really, guys, is just be creative, have fun, take the time, make your own playbook, find out what works for you, tweak it and tweak it and tweak it. I, I edit, remove plays, add in, fix my audibles every single season because I find that stuff doesn't work or I don't like certain things or I want to add in certain things. I see uh, other teams running these plays or I've seen someone on YouTube run this play and I think it's really cool. It could work in my dynasty. It fits my personnel. That's the big thing. It's got to fit your personnel, okay? But I hope you learned at least a couple things from this video. You saw a couple plays that maybe you want to use in your dynasty. Comment down below if you did that. And like I said before, if you're new here, I, I post NCAA 14 content every day. I got big updates coming to the channel in the next few days. So do not miss out on those. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button if you like this content and you want more. Hit the bell for notifications. Like I said, I post every day. Uh, but uh, until next time, guys, I'm going to sign off here. My name's John Eads. I always say go Beavs at the end of my episodes if you're new here because it's the Oregon State Beavers dynasty. So signing off. My name's John Eads. Go Beavs. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.